Hey guys, and welcome back to the Hobby Dude 007 channel. Today, I want to give a shout out to an organization as well as an upcoming show. You know, we as content creators oftentimes will go to shows and we'll film them to share with you guys, whether it's a real car show or a model car show. It's great inspiration, great way to learn things, and awesome fellowship. We have an upcoming show and a great organization putting it on. So I want to share that with you right now. Hold on. Okay guys, let me introduce you to the South Carolina Modelers Association. The SCMA was established in 1994, uh, so January 2022, we'll, they'll be starting their 28th year, and they have chapters from the coast down in Charleston all the way up into the foothills of South Carolina and everywhere in between. So there's a lot of modelers in South Carolina that are members, um, and they will be hosting their winter show January 15th 2022 next month in uh, Spartanburg South Carolina at the Marriott Hotel Ballroom hey if you need a nice place to stay come up early there you go um, but the hope it don't snow show theme this year is I think I'm turning Japanese which is any model of a Japanese subject from a car to Godzilla standing on a car. <laughs> Anything to do with uh, Japanese. This is not just a car show, by the way. This is also uh, military ships, planes, science fiction figures. They have two new categories this year, humor and modeling, which I'm really interested in seeing what kind of creations come out of that, and also a Gundam. And I guess that Gundam, that is a Japanese theme kind of thing. So there'll be a category for that as well. Uh, you may remember I posted uh, a number of months ago uh, the coverage of the other show, one of the other shows here in South Carolina that uh, had about 450 entries, tons of vendors, and just like that one, this one also will have Tom Valenta there taking photographs for the magazines. Vendor tables uh, are still, there's a few available, but they are going fast, they told me this morning. So if you have some stuff you want to get rid of, get together with a few other guys, split the cost of the table, and uh, you can part with some stuff. Also, um, if you have some stuff you just want to donate to the raffle, I've never been to a show where they're, they're not looking for, for more donations for the raffle. So uh, be sure you do that too. Uh, I always buy raffle tickets because even if I don't win anything, that doesn't really matter because I'm I'm supporting the club for future shows and things like that. And uh, the fun, the fellowship of being together, learning from one another. Um, I, I've been to a number of shows I, I've shared before that I never even took an entry just to sit around and, and chat with the guys and, and admire some great work. And I always learn something out of it. Um one of the big things is in this show is the stock car challenge and this year's theme for the stock car challenge is richard petty cars anything that richard petty actually drove now not a petty enterprise car that someone else drove it's got to be a car that richard himself drove uh to enter that that particular portion the the theme so to speak of the stock car challenge and the award is the Bud Moore Award. It's a beautiful, um, well, you'll have to see it, but it's really a beautiful piece of work. The award is. It's got Bud Moore's image um, engraved into it. It's it's really really a nice award. And the other part of the Stock Car Challenge is the Buford Wilburn Award. Buford was in charge of the uh, the cars that are on display in the old Joe Weatherly Museum, and now the uh, Darlington International Raceway Museum, uh, every winter there's a model of their car in 24th or 25th scale in the display cases down there. And Buford was the guy, in fact, I, as I understand it, about 45 plus percent of the cars that are in there were built by him. And they're great pieces of work if you've ever been to that museum and seen them. Um, and that will be first, second, and third place for the Stock Car Challenge Award. The main awards are top 10 auto top 10 non-auto the best of the auto 
the Best of Non-Auto, and then the Ricky Couch Award. Ricky was a prolific modeler from the area that uh, he had awards from Salt Lake City to everything local in the Southeast, and uh, just a great creative mind and an outstanding detailed modeler. So uh, that's a great award, and I'm trying to see if I miss anything. Tom Valenta, I did mention, is going to be there photographing for the magazines. Um, you do not have to be a resident of South Carolina to be a member of SCMA. Um, they have a great, great monthly newsletter, and you can talk to someone if you get down there. But if you are going to live in South Carolina, western North Carolina, um, northern Georgia, eastern Tennessee, uh, there's always a, a couple guys that come up from Florida if if you can get up it's it's a show worth coming to usually and um we just hope it don't snow so uh, if uh, if you can and you're in the area um uh, do come by and and say hi i'll be there covering the show myself i'll be in my hobby do 007 t-shirt um getting some video and stuff for you so uh, if you see me and you do get by say hey all right guys well thanks so much for listening Hey guys, in closing, let me share this with you. I was sitting at the workbench earlier today, and you know how those ideas float by your head, you know? Well, I just reached out and grabbed one, and I thought I would share it with you. So, here we go. Here it's coming at you. Okay, for the month of December, the rest of this month, and if it goes well, I'm going to carry this over into next year. All subscriptions to the Hobby Dude 007 channel are absolutely free. All thumbs up, absolutely free. All comments, you got it, absolutely free. So take advantage of that. If you're not a subscriber yet, throw that thumbs up. Subscribe, it's free. <laughs> Y'all have a great one. I'll see you in the next one. God bless.